what is the deal? It's your boy, your big homie, Kicks God, back from Asgard. My name is Ramon. Yo, man. Yo, man. I got some, I got some feet heat here on release day for all the yous. Um, do apologize if the bright you, you you could probably tone down the brightness, right? We good, yeah, right? Brightness is good, yeah. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I just need you, you. We need you all to to witness the bear witness of the glory. First of all, first of all, um, so you guys already know these sneakers came out earlier today. Uh, dropped at ten o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, I for one was actually able to uh, win. I actually won my size and my wife's size on um, on Foot Locker and Foot Action. Um, so basically I won four pair, uh, two, two my size and two her size. However, she was not, she didn't like these, uh, listen, uh, her loss. However, she did like these. And there is a reason I was really gunning to get this for myself and this for um, mm -hmm. for her. So um, before I even go into all of that, what do you think? What's your what's your, what's your opinion? What do you, how, how I don't you know, feeling? These, these look like the uh, the skin on the dragon from Game of the Thrones. Kind of, sorta. It's actually um, what is that? That is not eel skin. It's um, we killing we killing eels now. Yeah, we kill. We pretty much kill everything and put it on a damn sneaker. What the hell did an eel do to anyone? <laughs> but um, that's uh, stingray is what they call it. That's no. stingray. Yes. Well, it's full stingray, but okay. Yeah, it's definitely stingray. I ha I, I've actually had a pair. Do I still have them? I think I do. A pair of Air Force Ones stingray on the sides of it. And that's that's egregious. This this is actually a pretty gaudy shoe. I thought it was pretty scaled down. Well, oh, well, with I'm, I'm talking about with the material itself. Yeah, the, the skin, the stingray thing. I thought should be enough of the highlight on the shoe, but then you've got the gold. You got the gold Jordan on the side. Hey, I think definitely. it's a, it's a definitely. bit much. Um, but the gold laces, gold lace the, tips, gold lace tips. Uh, I guess. Uh, you got the gold 23 in the back. I can see glue all over this shoe, B. Yeah, I'm sure you can. I'm sure. They, wow. Uh, quality quality control definitely fails uh, Jordan brand weekly. This is um, not. What's the retail here? Uh, what, what, what was the retail on these? This thing. 220, 220. Oh, my God. And, yeah, those were, those were, um. Those are actually women's sizes. So there's some, some trickery with this. Okay. So they were like 180 for, well, what was it? It was 180 for the kids' sizes. If they if, if a men, for boys' kick sizes, okay. they they would have been 180. But for the women's, uh, they were, for the woman's shoe, mm -hmm. they were 220. Why? Why? Damn. Why? I, I don't know the madness behind that. Okay. But whatever. Um, what is it called? They are called the heiress. So, you know, you got uh, Sir Air or Air yeah. or what have you. So, they call those because those are geared specifically towards uh, women. Yeah. Um, the heiress. Makes sense. So, I think I, this shoe would have been better with, like, patent leather. You, you, they keep everything the same, but just replace this Stingray Madness with patent leather. I, I think so, maybe, as well. Uh, I think they the, the Stingray, I feel like it maybe it was a nice touch. Mm -hmm. However, it wasn't, it, it's a bit much. Because, like, Stingrays is, the pattern for Stingrays is just really, out, it's out there. Right. Um, I, li I do like the choice in materials with the upper, like right along yes. the tongue here. Because we've never felt that on. Right. Is it like neoprene? No, this is like a, I don't want to call it suede, uh, but it's more felt like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I like that part of it, yeah. Um, the lace hoops are nylon. Uh, the laces are waxed laces, yes. waxed rope laces. Again, I thought that it really had a, it gave it a nice little twist mm -hmm. uh, to the sneaker. Uh, again, also, you know, gold Jumpman, gold 23 on the back. Um, the Jordan or Jumpman tag on the tongue is in black and gold. 
nicely done. But you know the, you know the, 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 the creme de la creme goes to the boy. And these are called, what, what is this thing called here? So these are the Win Like 96. What's so, I don't, what's the story? I don't get, because you had, you also did the review, which would be live before these. The, um, the Win Like 82. 82. All right. So, uh, uh, as stated, you guys will definitely see the video soon. Stay tuned. Don't forget to look at it. Hit that bell if you haven't already. So, the Win Like 82s. Are, is a, an, an ode to uh, Michael Jordan's championship win with the Tar Heels. Mm. When he won, he was still in college. He okay. was actually in, wow, I want to say maybe his second year. Tar, you know, it's about a four, he was in a four year course. Um, I Listen, I can't remember what course he was taking. However, uh, it must have been like his first year he was playing with James Worthy, uh, a few other people that uh, went to uh, uh, Carolina, North Carolina. Shout out Tar Heels. Mm. They they won that year, that first year, and then he stayed an additional year, and then he he forewent, forewent his uh, college to uh, go into the NBA. I didn't know Jordan did that too. Yeah, I thought Kobe was the first to start that. Well, Kobe actually forewent. Oh, he College. went from high school. Oh, yes, yes, he went from high okay, school. Okay, so Kobe was the first to go straight from high school. Oh, uh, yeah, one of yeah, he was. We was Didn't the LeBron first. Didn't LeBron do that too? LeBron did it as well. Okay. Um, so you know, eh, it's just just uh, needless information with them. <laughs> you know, I, who cares about LeBron and Kobe? You know, I because his shoes are terrible. His shoes terrible, are horrible. Uh, well, you know, I do like the LeBron 15s, but um, you know, Kobe. I've never been. I'm, I haven't bought one. Kobe sneaker. I, listen, I know you guys are gonna roast me in the comment section. Like, what the fuck? You haven't bought Kobe's? What's mm. the matter? There was a pair of Kobe's that were nice. However, we didn't jump on them. So, yeah. Now these are the win like win like ninety six. So, uh, what does that mean? Um, Nineteen ninety six uh, NBA championship game finals Bulls. Uh, uh, came back strong. They had that 72 and 10 win season. 72 and 10. Uh, Golden State beat that by 73 and 9. However, they didn't get the ring. So, oh, you know it don't mean a thing if you ain't get that ring. Ouch. Say is what it is. So this is why. Uh, uh, this is to pay homage to okay. Michael Jordan and the night the win like 96 or his win. In 1996, coming back, well, he did a he he came back after the All Star break in 1990 in 95. Mm -hmm. However, he was able wasn't able to he was off sync. He wasn't playing up to Michael Jordan levels, and they were beat out by uh, the Magic. The Magic beat them. Orlando Magic beat them in the semifinals, and um, you know they didn't make it. So. Uh, uh, they went on the prior, the, the following year to 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 uh, it totally eviscerate uh, the entire league, huh. and, <laughs> and there you have it. Now we have this sneaker, uh, win like ninety six, a dope sneaker. Um, ain't no need to go into the whole silhouette. You guys see it. it it's gym red, the uh, clear clear gum so clear sole bottom, icy blue. Uh, red pillars again carbon fiber you guys have seen this sneaker seen this sneaker a thousand times um you've seen this sneaker before we actually previewed it it was a lot of early recent releases a lot of early uh checkouts uh on youtube and youtubers so on and so forth but we got them here this is actually the release day again i was able to uh, a cop from foot locker and foot action now the reason why i chose to go uh, with this this colorway for me and that colorway for my wife because I was just going to get her the red ones but you guys know if you haven't maybe I don't know when this will be out however mm -hmm. uh, uh, next Friday is the release of Star Wars The Last Jedi so um, I was able to secure uh, a, a hoodie 
a couple of hoodies. My hoodie is actually geared towards the rebels or the, the uh, rebellion, or well, it's actually not the rebellion now. Uh, and this is geared towards the first order. So, uh, you know, and the dark side or the what have you. Mm. So she will be rocking the Vader. She got, it's the, the hoodie has like a Vader on one arm and the uh, first order uh, uh, on this side, on this arm. Whereas mine has rebel or rebellion or re re uh, rebels going down this arm right. and uh, the rebellion symbol on this arm. So, yeah. Motherfucking cosplay in here. Yeah, man, we about to rock out. So, that's really it. You know what I'm saying? So, no, I, I, listen, those are too bright for me. And this is just a poorly made shoe. It's it's the, it, it could be it the could glue be is just like drawing my let eye. Let me see that. Let me see what where, where, where's the glue, Papa? Where it's glue? bad. What where, where, where are you? Doing? My guy. I mean the glue. You with glue right here? This glue all through the whole joint. Yeah, that's many yeah, shoes. They work two hundred right for two hundred and twenty dollars. I'm gonna send you a fake link. You could buy twelve of these that look just like it, <laughs> with the same sloppy craftsmanship, if you can call it. Do people make these or are these machine made? No, people people hand make them. The okay. uh, the process in which they're handmade because they're mass produced. Yeah. Um, do you 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 I like I understand why. Sure. You get pairs that have a little bit excessive glue. Like there is a process where because the sole of the shoe, the sole in the mid, the sole is sitting sitting on a machine first. It looks kind of like a vice. Mm -hmm. All right. So now uh the it's a piece that holds the sole, the outsole. Then the in the, the midsole comes down on it and that's glued down. Okay. All right. Uh they use kind of like a hot glue. It's it's placed down on it. So now when if they apply the hot glue or the glue a bit too far to the edge, it, it, it bleeds. Out. It right, bleeds. it bleeds over. Yeah. So that's that's the reason why sneakers, where you see glue marks. Sometimes you can get some. I've had sneakers that had a glue glue rise up from the midsole or from the um the outsole to the midsole, all the way across, all the way down and to the back. Mm. In many in many cases, I don't have no glue stains. But glue stains for a sneaker, really, like, if it's just crazy, if it's just a, a hot mess, all right, get rid of them. Take them back to Nike. Do whatever you need to do. But a slight glue stain here, something right there, that's not a big deal. Sir. I mean, it's not a deal breaker for me. Sir. <laughs> In the B-roll, this joint has glue all along the sides. This is unacceptable. Uh, for two twenty, yes, I could, I agree with you. I agree with L.A. You. Gary never sold me some shit like this. Uh, check again, sir. Check again. Yeah, but they was thirty dollars. Yeah, but you get what you pay for. <laughs> so you know, uh, you know. Somebody now, get that memo to Nike. Uh, check this one out. Now, no, this was clean. That's why I looked at that one earlier. Uh, this was this was clean. There's no glue. So I'm wondering if it's one of those things where like the smaller the shoe, the harder it is to sort of do it right. Uh, honestly, I feel like at this stage of the game, making sneakers for this long, no, there's no, yeah, there, there is no, there is no. Uh, cutting, I should have figured that out. Cutting yeah. out for quality, so I got you. You know, but listen, guys, I, I sincerely hope you were able to cop this sneaker today on release day. Um, still available, maybe, possibly. I, I can't say for certain. However, we're going to check this out right now real quick because when I checked at about 1119, it was still available. And yes, this sneaker is currently, is it? Hold on. Hold You're on. talking about the win like 90s, whatever the hell. Yeah, these, the, yeah. Okay, so they're finally sold out. All right, which took a while. Yeah. It, it it like it was like twelve o'clock. They were still up. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, man. So, did you cop? Were you able to cop? Are you waiting a few minutes? Don't wait too long because this sneaker will sell out. However, you should still be able to find it here and there. Even tomorrow, there might be a store, a Foot Locker, or what have you, where you should still be able to find 
this sneaker uh, um, available. Mm. This is again sparsely available. Um, I was able to cop this one from Foot Action. Both of them are actually from Foot Action. So um, yeah, my idea is coming to fruition. And listen, I hope to see all of you guys at the Last Jedi. Nah. I'm out of here. It's your boy Kicks God. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. You, sir? Don't follow me. <laughs> I think that shit's terrible. I'm out of here. Peace. Peace. <laughs> well, I guess. And the reason we started Lifestyles to Find is because uh, if we weren't on camera arguing about these things, the technologies, the phones, the iPhones, the Androids, the cameras, the games, we'd be on the phone arguing about it. <laughs> we'd be in each other's houses arguing about it. So why not just put it in front of a camera for everyone to enjoy it the way we do? That's what Lifestyles the Finest all about. We just love this shit.